already this morning. Wind staying out of the southeast for your afternoon and evening as we do dry out. Mostly cloudy skies still for the second half of the day as we push towards the lower 70s once again today. Now overnight tonight we will drop back into the upper 50s. Still keep those winds mostly out of the south, a little bit calmer. And then tomorrow for your Tuesday, we'll stick with some rainfall chances. The morning though, I think will be dry as we get later and later into the day. Our next push of rain will start to move in throughout the afternoon. Everything pushing in from south to north. Now this will be light to heavy rainfall, not only for the second half of Tuesday, but continuing then overnight and into Wednesday as well. And then Wednesday hour by hour, we will be drying out and leading towards sunshine for the second half of the week. So kind of very similar to what we saw last week in terms of just a, a rainy, dreary start to our seven days. So there's the first couple of days, 70 degrees tomorrow. Once that cold front comes through, bringing in that rain, temperatures will drop behind this. So you'll notice that drop back on Wednesday. But these first three days, they do come with that rainfall. How much rainfall are we talking? Here's a look at future track on uh, some of our models. A lot of this focused, this latest model running the European model around I-94, giving us a potential of about one to two inches of rainfall. I think a general one inch of rainfall is a safe bet, especially where we can get some heavy downpours as a part of this system. There's a look though as we turn the corner. Yes, temperature's a little bit cooler, but that's pretty close to average. Should be about 57 degrees for your daytime high this time of year. So from Friday and into the weekend, we'll bring on the sunshine, average temperatures, still gorgeous weekend to look forward to if we're already doing that on a Monday. The next 8 to 14 days, though, the Climate Prediction Center putting us in above average temperatures. This now takes us uh, right to uh, trick-or-treating here next week and the start of November. So it looks to be we'll keep a little bit of warmth around for a while.